One of the best places in Sydney to bring your pooch would have to be the Glebe Foreshore. There's heaps of area for them to run around. Steve, you're the local. Ooh, how, would you, how on earth do you tell these guys apart? Uh, they are all got quite unique personalities, but uh, they are beautiful dogs. This is Tazzy, she's a girl. Yep. She's four years old, and uh, she has the least amount of spots. Very affectionate. Yeah. Ralph, you're this affectionate. This is Ralph. Ralph has got a lot of energy, and uh, he's also a bit louder than the other two. Yep. And this is Jax. Jax has got lots and lots of energy as well. They've been in the city to surf. Really? And uh, they've walked to yeah. Bondi and back, which is about a 30k round trip. Wow. So they can handle quite a lot of walking and yeah. play. Do you have a favourite spot to take them? Pretty much all of Sydney is our backyard. It's very friendly for dogs. Yeah. There's a lot of cafes and uh, pubs in Surrey Hills that they frequent. And uh, they tend to go to Centennial Park as well, quite a lot. That's a good place, yeah. And uh, Victoria Park, which is near Broadway and uh, they spend a lot of time there as well. And what made you get Dalmatians? I saved a Dalmatian quite a few years ago, a beautiful girl Dalmatian and she lived till she was 14 yep. and uh, I wasn't quite done with them. Yeah. They're a bit like Pringles, you can't just have one. <laughs> it's a breed that I've, I haven't really seen a lot of recently but when I was a kid they seemed to be everywhere from the movie and then everyone just... Yeah, they were, they were uh, very much in demand after the movies and were overbred considerably, yep. which caused a few issues with their health. But um, they're, they're very much regulated now in, uh, with the breeders and uh, they're, they're eliminating a lot of those initial health issues that happened. Oh, that's good. All right, guys, you want to go for a walk? Show me around the park? Come on. Come on. Cities are often the hardest places to find good, pet-friendly accommodation. There's not much in the way of van parks or motels with space enough for your pooch and easy access to the city. But here in Sydney, I've found the Hewenden. Well, Darcy and I have found the Hewenden. Come on, bud. Darcy, we could go shopping if we want to. No, not in this rain. All right, well. So not only is this hotel beautiful, it's situated in a great part of Sydney, just across the road at Centennial Park, and then later on if we want to go shopping, we can walk straight down the fame to Oxford Street. Cheers Darcy. Oh, you can have a treat if you want. He's a good boy. Yeah, you're a good boy. <laughs>